The event I assisted was practical time series forecast and anomaly detection in Python was conducted by Dr. Ahmed Abdullah, data scientist at eBay. This meeting was held in the headquarters of eBay in Sunnyvale, California on October 28, 2019, by the ECMSF, Association for Computing Machinery San Francisco Bay Area Chapter. The Association for Computing Machinery is an international learned society for computing. It was founded in 1947 and is the world's largest scientific and educational computing society. A time series is a series of data points indexed, or listed or graphed, in time order. Most commonly, a time series is a sequence taken at successive, equally spaced points in time. Forecasting financial time series using past observations has been a significant topic of interest for obvious reasons. It is well known that while temporal relationships in the data exist, they are difficult to analyze and predict accurately due to the nonlinear trends and noise present in the series. Fee-forward neural networks have been a popular way of learning the dependencies in the data, by e.g. using multiple inputs from the past to make a prediction for the future time step 1. Time series is mostly used to predict future behaviors using past data points, ordered in time. In a time series, Time is often the independent variable and the goal is usually to predict and make a future forecast. However, there are other factors to consider when we are dealing with this kind of predictions. Common questions we should ask before doing such kind of predictions is understanding what are other factors or characteristics of the time series. 1. Is it stationary? Statistical properties do not change over time. 2. Is there seasonality? Periodic fluctuations. 3. Is the target variable autocorrelated? Similarity between observations as a function of the time lag between the time series analysis can be used to automatically extract insights from large collections of data points. Some examples of data that can be tracked are financial data mobile web application event streams, industrial machine data, healthcare information systems, or scientific measurements. One of the biggest challenges is data cleaning, which is highly dependent on the type of data and the task we are trying to achieve. If we combine different sources of data, we have to reshape and resize labels to make them similar in proportions, scale, and errors. We cannot use empty data points because this will affect analysis skewing our prediction. Before trying to feed the data points into machine learning models, it is important to adapt datasets performing data cleaning processes. Here is where libraries as Pandas and Python help to create data frames and labels with formatted data types that will be used to try different predictions using multiple machine learning models. The easy accessibility of free machine learning libraries like PyTorch, TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn has helped and made it possible to understand behavior and predict possible outcomes in the future using through the implementation of machine learning models. Some models the speaker explained were SARIMA, Seasonal Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, Bayesian Model Arima, Regression Trees, MLP Multilayer Perceptron, and deep learning models like LSTM and RNN. The audience of the event was mostly professionals from different backgrounds, such as data scientists, data analysts, software engineers, and students. I met a couple of colleagues from Silicon Valley, specifically from Dell and Intuit. In conclusion, some advantages of time series analysis are that it helps to understand past behavior and would be helpful for future predictions. As well time series can be analyzed in such a way that the factor that influences the fluctuation of the series may be identified, and it helps to compare the performance of two different series of a different type for the same time duration. Some disadvantages are, the analysis of time series is not always perfect, various factors that influence the time series may not remain the same for an extended period of time and so forecasting may become unreliable. Overall I had a great experience assisting in this meetup, having the opportunity to visit the headquarters of such an important company like eBay in Silicon Valley. 
having assisted in this meetup reinforced all knowledge related to data science and programming courses I am taking at ITU while the academic formation of Master of Computer So it's not, it doesn't understand the order of the data. In other words, if you would say, let's, we're going to pay the decision tree in a data set that has seen a maximum of 100, and I had a trend. So if I gave it during production, you know, during deployment, if I gave it something that was 102, it will still make it match the same result for something that was at 100. If it's 200, it will make it match the same result for something that was at 100 because you only, you only interpolate, you only extrapolate, you, you don't understand trends. So there are ways of doing this, which is basically like we did with, with Arena, is that instead of putting it a data with a trend, we have to remove the trend from the data and just give them